in India is expanding. It is coming near to Mathura and Vrindavan. So everyone is concerned. The desert is expanding. Because the desert expands, expands. As everything expands and diminishes, desert comes. That is nature's cause. Desert means less production. So if nature wants, she can make the whole world desert. What your tractors and so many agricultural machine will help? It will turn into desert. There will be no rain. What you can do? And still you are very proud of your scientific advancement. You cannot struggle with nature. They have one city in Italy, it's called Venice. Uh, and uh, it's built, they say they've conquered the ocean. So they've gone out into the ocean and built it up, and there's so many houses, and you, you travel through the city on boat, that's the only way you can get. But now the city is sinking. Sinking? <laughs> Yes. Then what they're doing? They're uh, concerned. <laughs> <laughs> the indication is already there. It's still they are not alert. They have to leave that place. Sinking also Mexico. Mexico, yes. Mexico City is built on the also way up. But that's not very good. <laughs> in, the, in, in New York, in New York, you know, they have so many tunnels under the ground, and every now and then, in some place, they just they just cave in. The street will suddenly dissipate because there's so many tunnels for electric cars, for plumbing, for subways, for everything. The whole thing is. I have seen in New York Park Street, Park Avenue, Park Avenue, Park Avenue that one skyscraper foundation was, and I see within the foundation. The subway train is running. Within the family. Yes. And I was looking at least five, ten stories from the subway. They're working so much just for this business. People here in Paris that work in the subway and the metro, when they have to make repairs, they close the metro down at 12 o'clock at night. And they come and work from 12 o'clock at night, all the way to the hotel, and work on the metro, and the tracks, and they leave at 4 in the morning, and the metro starts again. And there are so many people working in the holes in the ground all night. Working just at night. Underground. Repairing. Mouse business. This repairing and yeah, working is done by the mouse also. Karma. They have invented working method, very, very hard. At night in darkness, go down, ten stories down, and work for like this. Pungent activity. Huh? Pungent activity. Yes. And lots of 
land is lying in our lech mouth deep, they want what? For producing food. That land is kept for keeping cows, for killing them. And for their food, they are working underneath the ground. And whatever money they get, they import grains. They see the mass influence. That we are working, getting money and importing grains. Why not work and grow grains? Now he is thinking that I will get more money on the underground than by cultivating on the surface. This is mine. He is working very hard, still he is thinking it is better happiness. I have to work on the surface. I am working underground, therefore I am happy. This is mine. He prefers that kind of work. But he won't agree to grow food on the surface of it. In America, for example, the government will pay so much money to not grow, and you will pay more than if you grow. So you need so many fields of things. No, it is my experience. I have seen practically all parts of the world. If we grow food, all countries, especially America, both North and South, all America, whole Canada, whole America, whole Australia, they are not producing food. They have so much land. See, if you combine together on Krishna consciousness, there is no scarcity of food anywhere in any part of the world. Prabhupada, when we talk like this, uh, is this to, to perhaps mean sometime in the future the movement will become so big that we Yes, will... if we accept that Krishna is the proprietor of everything, then it becomes one state as it was formerly, by thousand years ago. But to do that from the position the world is in today, it seems like it's so... it would be almost uh, very difficult to come to that platform again. But Unless we it may be difficult, but the philosophy is there. Solution is there. That requires uh, getting some kind of a p- political position, perhaps? At least, if, if not us, someone else adopting the principles of Krishna consciousness, appreciating them. Or... Uh, thinking that political consciousness, just like Hitler planned, Napoleon plan. They also thought that if I can unite all these European states under my plan, under my ism, they will be happy. That is the plan. He also thinks like that. But whether he is perfect, this Lenin, this Hitler, this Napoleon, whether they are perfect, so unless they are perfect, any such utopian planning will not help. But for our, our plan to be put into action on big scale, big people must accept who, who are presently, uh, who presently have power to, to control these things. Yeah. So is this to say that we must... The big it? people are wrong. Just like yesterday we talked with the cardinal. Uh, he is defending Alun He is a rogue. Anyone who is killing animals, he is a rogue. But he is representing as big man, important man.
So either they must accept our philosophy or, or we must replace them. Yes. That is First of all, you take care of yourself. Yeah. <laughs> then you think of others. How he tends with the body? He said, people say there is consciousness in this body because there is soul. Yeah. And then at the end of the body, uh, soul is finished, the body is finished, everything is finished. Why soul is finished? Because they say the body is finished. No, the body is finished. My childhood body is finished, but the soul is not finished. They will not listen logically. What can you do? Yeah. How it is? My childhood body, my babyhood body is finished. It is no longer existing. So how I am, I am existing? They Therefore, say, there, his statement that the body is finished and the soul is finished is wrong. We see practically the body is finished and the soul is existing. This is practical. Why is talking nonsense? Baby the body. body is finished and the soul is finished. Where is the soul is finished? I remember my childhood body. So I am existing, but my childhood body is finished. That is the fact. Therefore, with the annihilation of the body, the soul does not annihilate. This is the conclusion. So the baby body is finished, but the soul is still there. Yes. So when this body is finished, why should the soul be gone? Even the father and mother <coughs> is not crying. The mother's a baby dies, she cries, she becomes mad. But when the child gives up that childhood body, accepts another body, she is happy because she knows my son is there. She has, he has only changed the body. The mother knows. Mother is not crying, oh, where is my child gone? He knows that my child is here. He has changed his body. These are the arguments. If the foolish rascal will not accept genuine arguments, logic, then how he can be convinced? He is an animal. The animals cannot be convinced. In other words, any man with little brain substance will understand this. Where is the difficulty? But it is useless to talk with animals. You cannot argue with dogs and hogs. That is not possible. So if their brain is doggies and hoggies, how you can convince them? But the logic is there. The argument is there. How is it they can see continuity? between baby's body and young boy's body and young man's body and say, oh, he's still here. But they can see no continuity between this body and this body. That he has no eyes. <clears throat> How I have got my continuity of my childhood thoughts and now also. Just like for an old man, he hasn't got so much sexual power. But the sex continuity is there. He wants to enjoy it. Therefore he takes some medicine, he takes some injection. Why? The continuity. That means continuity is mind. The gross body has changed. The mind is there, subtle. Intelligence is there. That is continuity. And that continuity, that subtle body, mind and intelligence carry me to another body, as it is doing now. My gross body has changed, but mind and intelligence continue. Similarly, when this body will be completely finished, my mind and intelligence will carry me to another gross body. 
then in the womb of my mother I shall grow another gross body. The mind and intelligence being continued. And I get a particular type of body on the condition of mind and intelligence at the time of death. Death means finishing this body. But the mind and intelligence is the same as the hair carries the flavor. This is the logic. I will Sub- subtle body ever finished? Uh, subtle body can be finished when you are liberated from material bondage. Otherwise, it's the same subtle body? Yes, ca- carrying, you, carrying you in different types of bodies, God's body. It's the same mind, but it's covered? Subtle, subtle body will be finished when you regain your Krishna consciousness fully. Then the subtle, this material mind, intelligence will not work. But it's one mind. The soul also has a mind. Yeah, one mind. Oh, then, just like I am one, but I am speaking just like a madman. The man is one, but under some condition he is talking nonsense. So any materialistic man is a madman. Under the influence of this energy, external energy, therefore he is talking all nonsense. Oscar. Yes. This is uh, Mrs. Anna Conan Doyle, uh, and her father-in-law is a very famous author, uh, and she is very, very interested. She wanted to put a festival on for you in the Riviera, but didn't have enough money to do yeah. it. So she said next year she will do this for you. But she has all your books and reads them every morning. She rises very early yeah. and studies Bhagavad Gita and Bhagavad Gita. She looks very intelligent face. Yes. Speak yes. I speak English. Oh, that's nice. I'm Danish, but I speak English. Oh. It's very nice. So <coughs> intelligent when an omen should take interest in this great movement. It is a very scientific, spiritual movement. People are suffering for lack of spiritual knowledge. They have become materially like animals. Materialism means animalism. Yes, materialism means animalism. Animalism means in the lower grade of existence. Uh, what is the difference between dog and a human being? He has got a lower grade body and the human being has got a higher grade body. So uh, the more we become materialistic, we get lower grade body. In the lower grade body, the consciousness works only on four activities – eating, sleeping, sex life, and defense. This is lower grade activities. And higher grade activities are working for understanding God. That is higher grade life. In the lower grade life, nobody can understand God. In the higher grade life, one can understand, yes. One can feel with intelligence. Just like a dog may understand this is day, this is night, but he does not understand why it is day, why it is night. But a man can understand that it is day because the sun is there, and it is night because sun is now set. That is the difference between dog and man. 
better knowledge. So as you advance in better knowledge, that is perfection of life. And the topmost knowledge is to understand Krishna. Then is most perfect way. That is perfect. Knowledge other than Krishna consciousness, degraded knowledge, a lower grade knowledge. But at the present moment, although superficially we have got very nice building, nice apartment, but the knowledge is dogish. How to eat, how to sleep, how to have sex life, and how to be present. That's all. No one. The same degraded life as of the dog. Dog is also trying how to live, how to sleep, how to have sex, and how to defend. He is making walk, walk, walk. That is defense. His way of defense. That is defense. He is defending for the master. Similarly, he, dog has also sex life, dog also sleeps, dog also eats. So if a human being is also engaged in these four principles of business, then what is the difference between him and the dog? He must be interested in the business of understanding God, then he is human being. Otherwise he is a dog. Do we agree? Eh? Thank you. Actually, we are in the sense that the God to the dog, aren't we? Eh? We are in the sense to a dog, we are God to him. I think man is God, a dog, to, we are God to him, to the dog. Because the way he loves us, his fidelity to us, he doesn't understand God the way we understand God. No, he is not in position to understand God. He understands that he has got a superior, yes, exactly. but he does not understand who is the most superior. A human being can understand who is the most superior, top most superior. But we have also superior, but we have forgotten to understand that. Yes, we have forgot. Everyone is a dog is also forgotten. But his forgotten state is more acute, more acute. And human being is advanced. In the human form of life, If we do not try to understand God, then we are committing suicide. <coughs> yes. Because we got the chance. Nature gave us the chance to understand God. But if we do not divert our attention in understanding God, then we are making suicide. Misuse of human life. For a human being, the only business is how to understand God, not for economic development. What economic development? This Napoleon planned so many things, but where he is now? Can anyone say, where is Napoleon? (laughs) 
an astrologer in India has said that Jawaharlal Nehru is now a dog in the house of a gentleman in Sweden. <laughs> Prabhupada said that Jawaharlal Nehru, the former Prime Minister of India, yes. someone has said now he is the house dog in a home in Sweden. <laughs> I hope not for him. You may not, but I'm nature is divine. Just like a child does not hope that if he puts his finger in the fire, it will not burn. But nature is so strict, he doesn't care for the child or the old man. It will burn. I may prove very innocent, but nature doesn't care for that. Nature doesn't care for that. Nature will not show any mercy for the innocent child. No. That is nature. <coughs> is it not fact? If the child puts his, his finger on the fire, nature will not consider that here is an innocent child. He may not be burned. No. Equally. Therefore, nature is very strong. We cannot avoid the control of the nature. If you do something, it must act, react in the same way. The same, let's say, if you put your finger in the fire, it must react, burn it. <coughs> oh, nature is so strong. So as soon as you violate any law of nature, you will be punished. That is, just like God, a state police is there, engaged by the government. As soon as you violate law, the police will arrest you and give you punishment. Similarly, material nature means the police of God. As soon as you violate God's law, it will give immediately punishment. That is material nature. It is always punishing us because we are, one after another, we are violating the laws of God. Therefore, she is always punishing. That is our business. Mother Nature is described as Goddess Durga, and she has got a trident in her hand. That is punishment. Three kinds of uh, miserable conditions. Adhartik, adhibhautik, adhidvaivik. Adhartik pertaining to the body and mind. Adhibhautik, uh, miserable condition offered by others. And adhidvaivik, miserable condition offered by higher authorities. Just like if there is no rain, you cannot do anything. Your so-called science and advancement of knowledge will not be able to do that. Or if there is overflow, that also you cannot do. <coughs> Therefore you have to accept there is a controller of this raining. It is not under my control. That is nature, but nature is working under the direction of God. Behind the background of nature is God. Just like background of police force is the government. 
Similarly, background of the stringent laws of nature is God. That they do not understand. They are struggling with the natural laws, and that struggle they are taking as advancement. That's all. It is a struggle, but they are taking it as advancement. This is called illusion. It is not advancement. It is simply struggle. But they are taking it as advancement. Such a great powerful man like Napoleon, Hitler, they struggle only. Later on, the vanquished. So what to speak of others? Such big, big men, they struggle against the nature, but they vanquish. Nature is there. Nature is always victorious. So we have to, to, to own our victory over the nature. That is only possible if you take shelter of Krishna, otherwise not. Think we are right in our statement? If not, you can ask. Yes. Then why I'm talking nonsense? <laughs> Mrs. Connor Doyle is interested also. We were speaking in uh, St. Paul in her home about traveling to visit other planets, huh? traveling to visit higher planets, still in the material world, to accumulate experiences before going back home, back to Godhead. I was trying to explain the more important you can, aspect. You can, you can experience. That is stated in the Bhagavad. But she wants to go to other planets mm, yes. before going home. Yes, that is stated in the Bhagavad. The yogis they try to see also other planets. They are inquisitive. Instead of going directly to the planet of Krishna, they want to see intermediate planets, how they are working. Instead of express, they go locally. No, yes. That is natural. Only the strong devotee, they don't like, no, I don't want to see anything. I want to go immediately. That is strong devotion. Because they are after mad after seeing Krishna. Juga itam nimi seeing a susha pravisha itam. Sunna itam jagasarvam. For them the whole universe is vacant for want of Krishna. Just like if you love somebody, if it's not seen, you see, in spite of so many cars and you see the whole city of Paris void. Void. Don't give you any pleasure. A strong love for Krishna. Just like Sunnaitam. Sunnaitam means everything is vacant. Without seeing Krishna, everything is vacant. What is the value of this house or this city? He doesn't take anything. So, heart planted system means better standard of life. Just like if Indian comes here materially, they see the higher standard of life in Paris and London. <clears throat> but because we are interested in Krishna, we do not take very much care of this higher standard. So higher planted system means many, many thousand times better standard of life. Many, many thousand times. Just like Brahma Loka, the one day of Brahma described, you cannot even calculate mathematically. 
Let's find out. Sahasa Juga Pajantam Marahatya Brahmano Vidu. This is the topmost planetary system, Brahma Lok. <coughs> and the duration of life in Brahma Loka is described in the Bhagavad Gita. Sahasra. They say Sahasra Juga Pajantam. Just like before, you said you had a distaste for sightseeing in Paris, Srila Prabhupada. Huh? You had a distaste for sightseeing wherever you were. No, I, I don't go. Sahasya Yoga for Yam Tam Ahayad Brahmana Vidu Vatvim Yoga Sahasran Tam Teho Latra Vidu Yana By human calculation, a thousand ages taken together is the duration of Brahma's one day and such also is the duration of his night. The duration of the material universe is limited. It is manifested in cycles of kalpas. A kalpa is a day of Brahma, and one day of Brahma consists of a thousand cycles of four yugas or ages, satya, treta, dwarpa, and kali. The cycle of satya is characterized by virtue, wisdom, and religion there being practically no ignorance in vice, and the yuga last 1,728,000 years. In the Treta Yuga, vice is introduced, and this yuga lasts 1,296,000 years. In the Dwarpa Yuga, there is an even greater decline in virtue and religion, vice increasing, and the yuga lasts 864,000 years. And finally, in Kali Yuga, the yuga we have now been experiencing over the past 5,000 years, there is an abundance of strife, ignorance, irreligion, and vice, true virtue being practically non-existent, and this yuga lasts 432,000 years. In Kali Yuga, vice increases to such a point that at the termination of the yuga, the Supreme Lord Himself appears as the Kali Avatar, vanquishes the demon, saves his devotees, and commences another Satya Yuga. Then the process is set rolling again. These four yugas rotating a thousand times compromise one day of Brahma, the Creator God, and the same number compromise one night. Brahma lives one hundred of such years and then dies. These hundred years, by earth calculations, total to three hundred and eleven trillion and forty million earth years. By these calculations, the life of Brahma seems fantastic and interminable, but from the view viewpoint of eternity, it is as brief as a lightning flash. In the causal ocean, there are innumerable Brahmas rising and disappearing like bubbles in the Atlantic. Brahma and his cre creation are all part of the material universe, and therefore they are in constant flux. In the material universe, not even Brahma is free from the process of birth, old age, disease, and death. Brahma, however, is directly engaged in the service of the Supreme Lord in the management of this universe. Therefore, he at once attains liberation. Elevated sannyasis are promoted to Brahma's particular planet, Brahmaloka, which is the highest planet in the material universe and which survives all the heavenly planets in the upper strata of the planetary system. But in due course, Brahma and all inhabitants of Brahmaloka are subject to death according to the law of material nature. In the planetary system also, the four rules, birth, death, old age, and disease, they are also there. The life is long duration, but the miserable conditions of a living condition, that one must die, that is there also. <coughs> Simply, if you go to Krishna's planet, you haven't got to die. Abrahma bhuna lokan punarabhattina arjuna. Abrahma Bhavana Loka and Punaravati no Jana. Abrahma Bhavana Loka Punar Avartino Arjuna. Mam Bhatya Punarjana Ravika. Punarjana Navijati. From the highest planet in the material world to the lowest, all are places of misery wherein repeated birth and death take place. 
One who attains to my abode, or son of Kunti, never takes birth again. That's it. So, going to the higher planetary system means to achieve higher standard of life, but that does not mean solution of material problems. <coughs> Just like Western country, they are supposed to be living in higher standard of life than Eastern countries. But that does not mean they have conquered over death. That's not possible. They might possess a nice motor car, but the Eastern man may not possess. He has a bullock cart. This much advancement may be there, but the death, birth death is the same in this term and the Western. Why should we think that birth and death is so painful, Śrīla Prabhupāda? Because wherever we are, we but can you feel think pain? about Krishna. Are, do you like to die? Well, Why some people painful? like to travel. That is painful. Even if you think sudden that I have to die immediately, you will sudden immediately. It is very painful. It is very painful because as soon as you die, you are again packed up within the womb of the mother to develop another body. And that is also not certain. Nowadays the father and mother is killing the child. So even if you develop a body to come with the expectation to come out, the father mother kills you, again you have to enter another mother's body. Again you may be killed. This is the position of the sinful man. Because a man is sinful, he shudders. Lord, oh, again death is coming. So you, you cannot argue. Death is very painful. It is so painful that they are at the last stage because the pain is not tolerated. The soul immediately gives us this body. Just like a man commits suicide. It is very painful. Janmamitu Jarabhadi Dukha. This is painful. Dukha Dosanu Darsana. Anudarsana means if he is a foolish, if he cannot understand, then he should understand described by higher authorities. It is painful. So unless you make a solution that no more birth, there is no question of getting out of the painful condition of material condition. That is not possible. Are they incarnated into other planets? Yes. Yeah. That is, is easy. Is it less painful or is it the same? Of, uh, uh, as soon as you stars. enter into the womb of a mother, yeah. it is painful. You are packed up like this, in this way. Can you, can you leave for a few minutes packed up like that? At the present moment, if I pack up and put in a bag, and then put in a box, how long you can exist? We are not conscious of that. That doesn't matter. Just like surgical operation is going on, he is unconscious. Yes. That is another thing. By some method, he is unconscious. But the pain is there. The pain is there. The pain is not felt. Just like animals, they, they are in painful condition, but because they are animals, they do not feel it. On the horseback, you are driving horseback, like this, like this. Is it painful? But because he is animal, he cannot protect himself. It is very painful. Suppose it, if a chain is Shackle on your mouth, and I constantly push like this. Is it not painful? The horse is controlled by the mouth, by the chair. Yes. 
Horse is very powerful animal than the man. How the man can control the horse? But he knows the tree that it has to be controlled in the mouth. As soon as there is pain in the mouth, he becomes puzzled. He has to abide by the order. The man knows the tricks. Horse is not controlled by the tail. What is called that? Stick. Not stick. That is wooden mess. He controls. Such a big, powerful animal. He is controlled. Yeah. As soon as. Yes. Therefore, there was a meeting of all animals. That uh, how to get out of the control of man. <laughs> the elephant said, My dear sir, I am so powerful, I am also controlled by them. So it is useless to hold it. <laughs> I am also controlled by man. The, the, the meeting was organized by an ass. <laughs> He thought that I have to work so hard. Let us have a conference of animals to avoid man's control. But he saw that elephant also said that I am so powerful, still I am also controlled by you. So it is used then. <laughs> but many human beings get into the same condition. Similarly, our position is like that, like ass. We are also trying to get out of the control of material nature, like an ass, but it is not possible. The conference is failure. <laughs> Here in the material world, even a so powerful being as Brahma, he is also controlled by God. He is also controlled. You have seen that picture? Brahma is bowing down before Krishna. Do you remember this picture? In the temple in Geneva, Brahma with four yes. heads is offering yes. his respects yes. to Krishna? Yes. He is the controller of the whole universe. He also bowing down before little Krishna. Sir, I wanted to show you my superior power, but I am insignificant before you. Brahma stole away all his cups and cows and coward boys, and he saw again the same cups and cows and boys that playing with him. So he became surprised. How is that? I took away, and again he speaks. He has expanded himself. You have read that portion. God is called self-sufficient because He can expand Himself to satisfy His needs, whatever He wants. So He doesn't require anyone's help. He is completely independent. But still He is so kind that He comes to your temple as He has come today, and He is dependent. If you give Him some food stuff, He will eat, otherwise He will start. So we should always remember the most powerful, self-sufficient, has come kindly at my place just to become dependent on my full stuff. <coughs> this is His kindness. And if we think 
Ah, I am giving food to Krishna. What is Krishna? Then you are finished. You have to think always that he is self-sufficient. But he is so kind. In spite of his being self-sufficient, he invites my, he accepts my invitation and he has come. We have to treat in that. because you are, did not attend the ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> I see. It's just a sign. It has no particular meaning at all. No, this is the general meaning and this is blessing. After, this, after the ceremony, if there is any blessing, yeah. you get the blessing. Yes, yes. It's a nicer kind of souvenir yeah. than you find exactly. in Paris. It's coming into my eye. <laughs> Just like now in voting, uh, the man who goes to put his vote is marked with a star here, you know that? That means he cannot come again. He cannot represent a false voter. reading now, my book. At the moment I'm going to be writing the Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita is yes. very nice. Yes. But it's a very complicated book to read. Many, that is many, the many times. elementary ABCD. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here is a statement of my interview with the Vice President. He was a family man, is it not? Arjuna, the Bhagavad Gita. Yes, Arjuna, yes. Not only family man, yes. he was in the battlefield. Yes. So if you could understand Bhagavad Gita yes. in that position, yes. why we cannot? Yes, that's right. So it is no question of we have to give up family life. There is no such thing. You have to understand the science. Arjuna was a family man. After understanding yes. Bhagavad Gita, he did not give up family. No. no. So it is a wrong impression that to become Krishna conscious one has to give up family relations. No, that's not fact. Sometimes people think like that, but that is wrong thinking. Yeah, uh, spiritual understanding does not depend on material conditions, no. no. That is true. Yes. That is true. You may be in any yeah. material condition, yeah. still yeah. you can develop your spiritual yeah. consciousness. That is there. But sometimes we accept a certain position for our yes. personal convenience. That is another thing. But spiritual consciousness is not dependent on any material condition. It is spontaneous. Either he is a householder or a sannyasi or brahmachari or businessman or he doesn't matter. He can become fully Krishna conscious if he accepts the principles. Then We have got our regulated principles, no illicit sex. So uh, is it very difficult thing 
a householder has got his wife, why he should indulge in illicit sex? It is simply self-control. You can give it here if somebody comes to some gift. If our Krishna consciousness is dependent on yes. some material condition in which we are in, yes. then that material condition is superior to God consciousness. Oh, I'm a businessman. I cannot become Krishna conscious. That means business is more than Krishna. Yes, but I think, you know, anyways, we have to have businessmen, but our business conscious, because otherwise our world will come to a standstill. Exactly. And even you people are dependent on them. Because you know, you have to have people uh, donate, like we have a local Catholic church, we have a Catholic church. Difficulty is... It's donated from the people who are working. We are dependent on the materialistic man also. Uh, no, the difficulty the is that we are not satisfied with our uh, living condition. Suppose I have got this body, to maintain this body, I require my food, and for <coughs> getting the food I must have some money, uh, I must have some occupation. This is one thing. But people are now, suppose a one thousand francs will provide his family himself. He is not satisfied with the one thousand francs. He wants ten thousand. That is the point. Therefore he does not find time for Krishna That's right. That is the disease. Otherwise, if everyone is satisfied by the necessities of supply and balanced time he saves for Krishna consciousness, there is no difficulty. But he is, he is always twenty-four hours busy. How to increase? How to increase? And let's have it. Yes. yes. Greediness. Atyahara prayasasta pradalpa niyamakra. Atyahara. Atyahara means eating more or collecting more. So they want to eat more, collect more than necessary. Uh, for livelihood, one has. To work, that is material work. So you work. And what is that work? If one, one works for three months on the field, he can get his whole year's food. That is economically fact. How many months of grains we can produce per acre. Do you know that? Uh, you know, in our Indian calculation, we can produce at least ten months of grain per bigha. So if one has got ten bighas of land, he can produce hundred months of grains. So how much you can eat daily? Just calculate. At most uh, two pounds, at most. So if you eat two pounds grains per day uh, in a month, sixty pounds. And eighty-two pounds may, uh, makes one month. You are getting one thousand pounds. One thousand months, no? Ten bigas months. of land. One hundred months. One hundred. Months. Uh, so you get enough food by working three months. <coughs> but they will not work in the field. They will work in the factory. The now the world situation is there. That they are invented so many artificial work. So people are embarrassed with this kind of work. 
he doesn't find any time. He's not trained. Huh? He's not trained. Yes. This is the, the, if we make our living condition very simple, there is enough time. Enough time. <coughs> but we don't say that you go back to the primitive stage of life. That is not possible. We simply request that wherever you are, simply chant Hare Krishna. That is not difficult. Then everything will be clear. And we are not charging anything for that. That you give me so many pounds, I will give you a mantra. Not like that. There is no necessity. Unnecessarily they are killing animals and becoming sinful. So they have created their own field of activities just to become bereft of Krishna consciousness. Formerly in the human society there was no slaughterhouse. If they wanted to kill one animal, they went to the forest or anywhere, kill one animal, anything. But here it is now regular business. Somebody supplying cows regularly by increasing livestock, that has become his business. And somebody is killing. So we have invented so many things like that simply for sinful activities. How we can become happy? It is not possible. So many big, big factories for producing beer and liquor. But they have become accustomed to this. And the net result is now increasing the hippie population. This irresponsible life uh, is producing children most irresponsible, brainless. But they have no eyes to see that how we are degrading. This is our children. I had been to Amsterdam. One park there is. Bundle park. Eh? Bundle park. So hippies are there. Oh, how wretchedly, voluntarily they are living. They don't require to live in that way, but they are living. Lying down on the ground, no regulative principle. They do not know how to eat, how to sleep. Unnecessary. Thousands of. And they are thinking they are happy. Also discussing with uh, Mrs. Conan Doyle and a friend of hers, how is it if I'm thinking I'm happy, or I do not have love for God, nor do I want to have love for God? How will I cultivate it? Well, yeah. Because at the present time we are in crazy or mad condition, what is called deformed brain. Therefore, we cannot. Think. There is a poetry, Vishachi Paile Jano Mutichana. As one becomes uh, crazy when it is grossly haunted, similarly, a person under the clutches of Maya, he becomes also crazy like that. He talks all nonsense. Uh, how you can understand about God?
big, big hospitals in America appearing this craziness, not only of the uh, common being, even for the priests. In America they have got hospital for curing alcoholic habit of the priest, five thousand patients. So he is alcoholic and he is in the priestly dress. This guy, because he is getting his salary, so he is maintaining his priestly dress. But internally, what he is, he knows all this. Or when he comes into the open eyes, then one can know. Oh, here is a priest admitted in the alcoholic hospital. 